Welcome to episode 19 of the Retro Gaming Dads podcast, the weekly podcast for everything retro and retro inspired. I'm Phil, and tonight I'm with Barry and Anthony. Hey there. Hello there. Hello. So, are we ready for the biggest release in over a year? Why, what's that? We get to go out the house! <laughs> Freedom! Yeah, yeah, well, I guess it's Ish. partial freedom, but it's freedom nonetheless because we could meet up. Yes. yes. So, in this episode, we're going to be talking about games that we're looking forward to playing couch co op, or as it usually ends up turning into couch counter co op. Deathmatch. Yeah. <laughs> Catch friendly <And> deathmatch? <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing friendly about it. Yeah, so with our imminent release, we thought this would make a nice change of pace for the podcast. And it's definitely not because we forgot to prepare anything. No, definitely not. No, absolutely not. We, we would not do such a thing. No, we are the we are the epitome of prepared. We are professional in everything we do. So now that we can actually meet up indoors, where are we going and what we're going to be playing? Well, we know where we're going because it always ends up being Barry's house. Yes, because you're little freeloaders. No, it's because you've got a projector. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, what sort of games are we looking forward to playing? Well, I believe Barry's picked up a couple of retro games for us to, to get our teeth into. Yeah, the the titles that I either already had or one of them is a sequel to a game that we played. Uh, oddly enough, both about building your own little mechs. They were brilliant games, though. Yeah, so the first one I picked up was Robo Pit 2 on the PlayStation 1. Is it going to be as terribly amazing as the original on the Saturn? Um, I, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's a little bit more... Stable? Uh, no, don't be silly. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit more realistic looking. In the way that the mechs are designed. So they're not like rabbits with a giant foot, a katana for an arm, and a little teak teak claw that could just like throw blocks around the arena. I'm sure we've played Robo Pit before, haven't we, around yours? We have. Yeah, we oh, have. Me, me and yeah. Phil have definitely played Robo Pit. I, I remember, well, I remember playing with you two uh, around yours, Barry. <laughs> it yeah. is the most bizarre robots you could look at. It's a terrible game, but it's amazing. I enjoyed it for what it was. I really enjoyed it. I love that game, to be honest. So I had it on the Saturn, and I actually got it on the PlayStation last year, because my my discs, it works, but it's pretty scratched, and occasionally it does crash. <laughs> and, oh my god, as soon as I played it on the PlayStation, I just couldn't get used to the speed of the game. Is that because it actually had a stable, decent frame rate? Yeah. I think the special moves are actually different on the PlayStation. Or at least I couldn't pull them off, to be honest. Wow. But the thing that really threw me is when either I won or lost the match, which on the PlayStation was usually lost because it just ran too quick for me. <laughs> Instead of on the Saturn where it goes, you win like that. And there's like this massive <laughs> pause in the middle of it. It just goes, you win. I was like, oh, well, that's, that's not very, it's a bit anticlimactic. It's very underwhelming. <laughs> I feel like it being stable and running at a decent frame rate kind of takes away from the terrible charm that game had. Now, bear in mind, I love the original Robo yeah. Pit on the Saturn. Yeah, it used to pick on poor TT. True. Playing games that has those sorts of different, uh, you know, odd workings for it makes the game so much more fun. Even though it is a struggle with the frame rate, you get used to it and then something bizarre happens. You just have a laugh about it because you're like, yeah. what just happened there? It's not even like it had funny quirks. It just ran really poorly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, it was definitely one of those games where it, I think if we had a larger selection of games, we would never have given it a second look. Probably. Because at one point it was the only Saturn game I owned before I even owned a Saturn. <laughs> It was a game that I really played, and I suppose it's a bit like Stockholm Syndrome. You know, eventually you think, <laughs> I, I think I do like this game, actually. I, 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 yeah, I mean, we have fond memories. and even We even went back and played it as adults, and we didn't go, why the hell are we playing this? It's terrible. We enjoyed it. Yeah. One thing that really struck me as bizarre playing, because I'm pretty certain it was, wasn't it, you know, left and right was to turn your screen, and it was just forward and backward, and that was it. Yes, there it was, used tank yeah. controls. Yeah, and it felt very clunky compared to what we're used to playing. 
Uh, Obviously, no, I mean, well, yeah. the game's, what, 20 years old? Well, it'll be, like, closer to 25, and in all fairness, it was clunky back then. <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember quite often, you know, I'd turn around and charge one of you, and I, I swear down, most of the time, I killed myself in that game. <laughs> I mean, that's no different to any other game we play, to be honest. Don't even start now. Okay, <laughs> I really do remember, like, charging at you two, coming for you, and then, I don't know what happens, but I then just end up off the map, and I'm like, oh, flip's sake. <laughs> no, um, so I picked up the sequel for that, more to see what it was like, to be yeah. honest. Any expectations about it, or...? Um, I expect I'm going to hate it, to be honest. <laughs> I expect we're going to have fun. That's the key. We will see, laugh at bad situations and they go on with it no um, I, I actually think it's going to be bad because it's better than the original <laughs> so it, it falls out of the valley of being like so bad it's good it'll just drop into being bad possibly very possibly well i might have to bring the playstation 2 so i can bring armored core 4 or is it 4 i've got or is it 2 armored core armored core 4 that wasn't that on the xbox 360 yeah i think it might have been four, it might be... four and set and then five and verdict day yeah, so it's gonna be one of the armored, armored core two or three. Yeah, I've got I've got a couple of armored cores anyway. I'll have to bring those. Right. No, just crack out chrome hounds and we'll just play that on the. Well, unfortunately, we can't. <laughs> yeah, well, it, not only is it not couch co-op, the servers have been well, shut down. In all fairness, I've probably got enough. Well, uh, not probably. I definitely would have enough Xboxes if we could do it on a LAN game. <laughs> but unfortunately, this you just can't. But in the same vein, the other game you've picked up is a similar game, and I had a lot of fun memories of that yeah, one. Yeah, Phantom Crash. That was a fun game until you ruined it. Just because I realised <laughs> like grenade launchers are, are handy. Isn't this a game where you said Fools were awkward shooting the floor yes. constantly? Yes, he did. He had a rocket or a grenade launcher and would just stir at the floor, walking around, shooting. You can tune weapons. So, for example, you could have a grenade launcher that perhaps would have a larger explosion but less ammo, or one that had more ammo and a higher rate of fire but a smaller explosion. Now, it's worth noting Barry's mech was super fast and invisible. No, all mechs in the game are invisible. True. Mine wasn't particularly fast. Mine just had three mach- uh, sorry, four machine guns. It the was fast compared to mine. Rate of fire. <laughs> Pop around the corner, fire off a shot, and you look at it and go, it didn't even chip the paint. But then the next thing, it was just like this wall <laughs> of machine gun fire, which was just slowly <laughs> chipping down. And as, as much as you're trying to escape it, if I could, I could keep a lock on you, I was just chipping you down constantly. But yeah, Phil would just go into the sewer, hide in a small area, so the second I dropped down, he could just shoot the floor and kill me. Because the explosion had filled the room. So what we're saying is, Phil, no rocket launchers, no grenade launchers. End of. Well, no, it wouldn't be too bad because if it was, um, if we're playing it in free player, I can just pick on you. It's true. <laughs> and then nice. when you're both fighting, I can fire it at you and blow you both up. No, no. I'll I'll develop that skill that we were saying that you have your chameleon skill where I can watch my screen and go, whoop, <laughs> <laughs> let your eyes. He's coming out of his hole. <laughs> <laughs> Quick yeah. turn again. <clears throat> Phantom Crash had those weird little um, AI chips as well that were all based on different animals. Yes, it did. So I think wasn't a Cats rabbit. And dogs I'd and have rabbits. a really wide field of well, not field of view, but targeting range. Fit you targeting, yeah. And if you went like a hawk, it'd be really narrow, but could lock on from further away and stuff like that. So the chips themselves actually did make a difference to how the game played. Um, on top of that, I think there was, was it three or four different chassis types? There was and a few, yeah. A handful of weapons, but then you could tune them to however you wanted. So as Phil was saying, you could make a really light mech that could stay stealthed for a while. Or yeah. you could just make the cheapest one that shoots the floor with a rocket launcher continuously. <laughs> Heavy armor, tank treads, and a big gun. Was it tank treads or did you have like spider legs? I thought I had, it might have been spider legs. I know I had. Actually, I know I had heavy legs. Might have been your uh, robo pit mech, actually. No, my tank treads was definitely my robo pit mech. Right. Phil's just going big, clunky, and slow, as he yeah. always does. Phil has well, optimized the fun out of the game. 
<laughs> as yours does. So, well, I've got them. Unfortunately, Robo Pit's only two player. So Anthony can just sit in the corner and watch. <laughs> but Phantom Crash, yeah, a free player. Unfortunately, my we did try and play it once, but my other copy seems to be scratched and crashed every time you went into the shop, didn't it? Yeah, it was a shame that. Mm. We've got a couple of other games that I know you picked up a while ago that we could play as well, like Poi Poi. Oh, no, I haven't picked up Kids in Pajamas from Rocks at each other. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did have a look at that, that, but it's about £100. <laughs> Really? Hang on, sorry. Yeah. I think you need to expand on that now, Barry. Unless nope, you've done it no before. I can't quite remember. <laughs> nope. Okay. If, if anyone knows the game, that description is enough. It <laughs> yeah. was enough for him to actually find it on Google that way. Yes. <laughs> and and if you want to know a bit more about it, we have mentioned it in a past episode. So. There we go. It's true. Uh, we also got Blaze and Blade. Watch list. Yes, we got Blaze and Blade, but we played that last time. <laughs> we really didn't. Well, I wanted to carry on, and you two were like, no, no, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. No, I was fine playing it. It's <laughs> Anthony who's, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Oh, right. Which was Blazing Blade, I can't remember that Blazing one. Blazing Blade. He, um, top-down RPG, yeah. uh, four-player. Top-down oh, RPG, yeah. Yeah, we were running around. No, I enjoyed that one. Yeah. It was Philly so the, didn't want to do game, it anymore. The game would have gotten up to, like, level 160, and I've never actually completed the first stage, because I can't figure out how to do it. That was, was cool, because me I was and you played it. No, 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 no. You were not. Because we found my characters as well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, that's another game we could play. Yes. War of the Games. Do you think we should try and get hold Worms. of Worms? Yeah, recently been playing Worms World Party, was it? On the PlayStation? Yes, it was. On Pie Packer. And as we said in last week's episode, it's probably the most fun I've had playing Worms online. And the game was never even intended to be online. I know Worms is a game that just, it's one of those that you need people around you to play. You can't just play it online. Yeah. You need to see people suffering just like when you play Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't playing that. I'll be kicking your ass. <laughs> the Smash Bridge is going to... Worms is good until you two get a bit, a bit sour about it. And then even though I graciously let Anthony live, he just kept targeting me. So next time, <laughs> I'm f***ing you up. I mean, at that point, me and Anthony only had one worm. You had three. Yeah, but the thing is, Anthony's worm was one hit away from death. So I said, go for Phil, because you were obviously going for me. And you were in the best spot on the map. So rather than do that, he just tried to take me out. No, don't do that. Because I think if I did try to go to Phil... That didn't work well. You then tried to battle axe me and missed, even though you stood literally <laughs> above my head. You swung above my head and missed me. So That was a completely different match. Oh, uh, okay. They had so many matches, it's all gone into one. But however, that I, I enjoyed you missed the battle axe from like, you know. I didn't actually miss that. It just didn't it was weird that one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So we got, well, we've got a version of that on the Xbox to play, haven't we? So that'll be a nice modern version. Mm. What else have we got? Smash Brothers. That's we'll always a fun. We've got Smash always Brothers. Always a fun couch co-op. I still remember when we first played Smash Brothers together at Phil's house. <laughs> Complete to that. Did we unlock old characters within, you know, a couple of hours? Yeah, well, yeah, it was in the single evening, weren't it? <laughs> yeah, we unlocked yeah, it was. all the initial characters. See, I must admit, one thing I've been looking at recently is light gun games. Oh, so love them. We've been talking to... about this. I know. I have two yeah. options. Either get a CRT, in which case I can connect up the Sega Saturn, the Sega Dreamcast. We can play some Virtua Cop, Virtua Cop 2, Confidential Mission, House of the Dead 2. Not House of the Dead 1, though, because it's garbage. (laughs) (laughs) Time crisis. I really do want to play them. However, I have been looking at the Sindon light guns. Yeah, they look so good. Oh, that on a sell up the projector. You know, like an 80 inch screen or something. Bit of Virtua Cop, emulate Virtua Cop 5. Uh, sorry, Virtua yeah. Cop 3. I've never played Virtua Cop 3. I mean, I am so surprised. And I've said this before that Namco haven't approached him and gone, Look, we want to license your product and help you build it. Here's a wad of money. We're going to make Time Crisis for the PlayStation and Xbox. For me, whenever I go to um, an arcade, the light gun games that sort of stuff is what i go for because you can't play it anywhere else easily anymore can you no not at all 
it is an arcade and in an arcade you mainly have house of the dead or time crisis and that's it i can't see namco ever going to him to license it if they were to actually approach him it'd probably to tell him to stop ripping off the gun con <laughs> <laughs> oh, possibly, yeah. Uh, it does look quite a lot like the Namco uh, gun, doesn't it? Yes, very much so. I just don't think light guns are something for the home anymore. I know House of the Dead's getting remade on the Switch, but again, I think that's just got using your Joy-Con as a pointer. It's space. That's one of the biggest things you need. You know, you have to stand far enough back from mm. the screen to do it all easily um oh right you you definitely never played duck hunt then did you on the nez no i didn't well <laughs> we like unless you point it at the screen because you do not stand back for duck hunt you literally have the gun on the screen <laughs> ready what? to kill kill that duck as it comes out the grass <laughs> <laughs> Bill knows what I'm on about. oh yeah oh yeah there's only way of hitting that yeah. duck yeah you've got to find the smallest screen in the house and literally <laughs> point the gun onto the screen <laughs> so what to make sure you don't miss yes well you'll still miss <laughs> once you get to like stage 10 that duck's going faster than the speed of light yeah a million miles an hour <laughs> yeah it would be lovely to get some gun games going but it's just yeah. it's just no real feasible way of doing it at the minute well no this well there's still a problem to Sidel, but he literally sells them out before he can even build them well yeah I was looking so at the moment it's first half of May if I was to put my money down now I would be looking at July and yeah. they've got ones with recoil and it looks amazing. <sighs> However, the price goes from £80 per gun to £150 per gun just for yes. recoil. So worth it. <sighs> it well, yeah, it's, it's so worth, worth it until you're very trying to play it late at night because it's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your partner would not appreciate that. Uh, you can turn it off though in all Oh, that's okay then. Yeah, well, What's the point? But it's like the classic days when you had like the uh, the big massive controller for Steel Battalion. They just don't do accessories like that anymore. I still regret getting rid of that. Yeah. I regret you getting rid of that. Yeah, I regret getting rid of it. <laughs> do you know what? I actually had a look at, um, remember that Fancy Star online GameCube ASCII keyboard? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I got rid of. I sold my entire GameCube for like £35. It nearly cost me that in just postage. Send it out. Loads of games, steering wheel, the ASCII controller. I had a lot last night, and they're like 200, 300 hey, pounds just for that ouch. controller. That hurts. I died inside. I can imagine. <sighs> Do you know what? I wouldn't mind playing Couch Corp again. I know we can play online, but Halo, I would happily play through some stages of Halo or just have, you know, have it out between us. I mean, whether we play co op or multi or deathmatch, we're going to kill each other on Halo. Oh, 100%. You know, Phil with his chameleon eyes looking around, see what we're doing. (laughs) (laughs) But no, I know we'd end up into that, but. I don't think Master Chief Collection, it's only two player split screen, though, is it? It is. You'd have to do it on, um, like, the original Xbox or something. It It is a shame they got rid of the four player split screen from yes. Halo 5, wow. what, 4 and 5, was it? Didn't they stop doing I, it? No, Halo 5 didn't have any split screen at all. Oh, no, it didn't, did it? Uh, Halo 3 definitely had four-player split screen because it was Master Chief, Arbiter, and then two random elites Yeah, as the other characters. I think Halo Reach did as well, didn't it? I don't know because I think by the time that came out, I think I was playing it all online. Because I think you probably moved, you'd moved away, Phil, at that point. Did you go yeah. to like Scotland? I think I was in Derby at that point. Right. So I never really played it locally. It was all Xbox Live. But Halo is definitely one we'll have to, uh, we'll have to try and play a bit of. Yeah. Especially while I'm waiting for Halo Infinite. Yeah. The beta for that should hopefully be coming out soon, uh, which yeah. is quite nice. But just playing games, Couch Co-op again. I'm just looking forward to be able to. Have a games that again crack out all the you know streets and crap and just play games. Streets of Rage three, four, Streets of Rage four, that one. Yeah, yeah, the, the is... new one. Yeah, the new one. We can yeah. actually yeah. play that all three of we us because that's two player online only, but one to four couch go on. Yeah, we can even try and complete the uh, last half of Battletoads. You mean yes, we could be on like the second level. <laughs> no, we got pretty far in it. Did we? Yeah. We spent the a bike bit was my three, favorite. Three hours plus playing it. The, wait, wait, yeah, wait. But... Can we 
two Can we just point out a second there? Anthony said the bike stage was his favourite. Yes, it was. I absolutely loved that. Yeah, well, it was easy for him because he didn't have to do anything. We were the ones who completed all the no, checkpoints. No, you know the amount of times that <laughs> I was the last one standing. Don't even. Yeah, but you out. never reached the checkpoints. I, I will. I will quite happily admit I was pretty much always the first one dead at the bike point, <laughs> and I hated every minute of it. The bike point in particular. The rest of the game was brilliant. So long though, was one of them. Oh. Yeah, it def- the one where you rent the hover bike. It just went on for oh, too long. Yeah, could yeah. easily have been cut in half. Easily. Or maybe like, oh yeah, get to the next part. Just keep going. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> but yeah, we have to. We'll have to play some brawlers and crack out some dead or alive. <sighs> Your funeral. Anthony's funeral, let's be honest. Yeah, mine. <laughs> no. What if Anthony will just, after a couple of games, just put the control on the arm of the couch and go, there's no point me playing this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We might. I will admit, I do get a bit sour sometimes, but my bit. thing is, a bit, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, but the thing is, I, uh, no. I, I, uh, go on, say it. I was going to say, I play, like, garbage when I'm against you most of the time. I, I'll I'll think, do you know what? Can I can I kill him just by slapping him across the bum? I'll try that. I'll try that. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. <laughs> and there goes Anthony's self esteem. Yeah. You'll you'll hit me and juggle me and then you'll constantly juggle me until I literally can't do anything. Whereas I will back away and let you to get up. Oh, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I've had enough there's a, oh, there is a magical button. All right. Right, there's a magical button that you need to learn to press, Anthony. It's called block. Or, or just don't try and mix up your moves so you're not as predictable. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember there was a point when me and Phil, if we knock the other person down, we knew hold low because they're gonna do a low <laughs> kick. Yeah, we've had some but, memorable matches though. We had I'm, that match. Which one? <laughs> Well, I was going to say the match where you was uh, Akane and I was Kasumi, and it looked like ninjas fighting because we were flipping over each other. We couldn't land hits because we were just moving everywhere. It was a brilliant match. Yeah, what he's not telling you is we were trying to figure out the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> but just so going really quickly back can. to what Anthony said, I think that's your issue. You said, "Oh, well, I let you get up." It's it's a competitive game. You do not let up. As soon as you start playing defensively, unless you're good at counters, you've lost him dead or alive. Yeah, dead or alive it is. Unless your particular character is is an offensive game, you go in fast and hard, and you have to mix it up. On the Naruto game, (laughs) on on the Naruto game, I felt like I did pretty good on that. Also because I figured out how you can switch characters, which you 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 had no idea how to do. Do you want a f***ing cookie? <laughs> how many times do I figure out stuff in games that you were like, have you done that? We've been playing for ages. Like Holden I. Yeah, but the thing is, he's going, oh, I always figure these things out. We still be f***ed all year on them. Though. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I don't care. It's a moral victory. A uh, yeah. Yeah. I will always take moral it. Moral victory. I'll go and get your participation award trophy for when you come down next. <laughs> and my cookie. Hold my cookie. You, you have... You have offered him a cookie multiple times now. No, I, I said, yes. does he want one? I never said I was going to give him one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to crack out some old school 2D beat em ups as well, like some um, high school's Justice League, and I'll die horribly what, on that. I, I'm taking it that you're trying to say rival schools. That's the one I meant, rival schools. Right, right. Because <laughs> that's definitely not <laughs> what came out your mouth then. No, no it's not. I was trying to think of the name of it, and I was thinking, was it rival schools, high schools, Justice League? What was it? I think yeah, it was we trying should, not we to play say that it. Capcom classic. High school musical, <laughs> The Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what? <laughs> we'll follow a dance battle to the end. Let's go. That'd work, maybe. But yeah, rival schools. Rival schools would be a good one to pick out, so Barry can just beat the <laughs> out of us both. Yeah, I'd like to point out that they're not two D either. Just well, no, not three D. But there's some two D ones we could pull out as well. Yeah, well, Marvel vs. Capcom Two is the obvious. Yeah, one. brilliant game. You've also got Street Fighter Alpha. Yeah, uh, I wonder if I've still got a copy of Guilty Gear X2. I feel like I'm going to be getting my butt handed to me the entire night. And that's usual. Well, yeah, I was going to say. No, not always. Let's play Mario Kart, see how that goes. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
that, that, that game's banned in our house after playing it with Kerry. The other <laughs> one that we've enjoyed playing Couch Corp a few times, Demon X Machina. Oh, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I wish there was a little bit more content. Saying that and also um, Dragon Mark for Death. Yeah? Yes. Oh, no, definitely. We'll have to give them another play. I think Demon X Machina feel like we're close to exhausting that game, though. Possibly. There's very few items left. Unless the more content gets added, there's not much left for us to do. But even though you didn't believe definitely. me that, like, where are you getting all these items off oh, from the ice cream <laughs> shop? And you're like, no, no honestly, wait, no, from the ice cream <laughs> shop. At the back of the ice cream shop, there's like a secret weapons lab. And you're like, no, there isn't. Yeah, so yeah. Harry's pulling out all these amazing like boss weapons. Me and Phil, like, where are you getting them from? Because they're not in the shop. And he's like, going, this is, this is hidden shop in the ice cream parlor i'm like no there isn't we're going in and there's no, we, there's nowhere to see it however barry's got a button to say press x to join and we're like what's going on see when barry first told us this it sounded like one of those internet rumors like if you do the macarena on tomb raider yeah. she'll get naked it sounded like that sort of rumor oh you just there's a secret shop in the ice cream shop that you do sorry. this sorry i just need to put in it's not the macarena it's spice girls wannabe oh sorry <laughs> yeah no wonder the cheat didn't work for you <laughs> it sounded like one of those rumors it's like you what you go to the ice cream shop you press these buttons and then a secret shop opens you're pulling our legs yeah we weren't believing him at all until one of us finally thought fine fine we'll google it Lo and behold, there was a shop there. And we had to do a certain thing to get to it. But See, oh, I think it was Google? a good half an I hour. I find it without Google, innit? <laughs> it was a good half an hour where we were like, fine, fine, we'll believe you. It, it, you've got to admit, it did sound, especially the way you put it, it sounded really like you pull it out like. <laughs> it's not actually parlor. It's the back of the ice cream parlor. What are you talking about? How can you not see it? <laughs> see what? There's nothing there. <laughs> Well, yeah, we, I'd say we could we could jump into that. That's definitely preferable to playing Armored Core two or three or whatever it is. I mean, yeah, it is. It is definitely a smoother Armored Core experience. I'd say we have got Dragon Mark for Death. Yep. Uh, have you two completed that? I know. Yeah, no. I could do playing some more of it. I've just been playing through Horror Warriors still. Oh right, because there's a. I think there's two new characters now in Dragon Mark. Who is that? I think so. There's the Oracle, yes, there is. and I don't know what the other one was called now. Like a thief or something. I can't quite remember them. It's interesting. So, now that we can meet up in person, what games are better in person than across the internet? I can't think of many games where I could genuinely hand on heart say, oh, that's better over the internet. I think yeah. gaming will always be better sat in well, person. I think one game that's better across the internet is something like Magic the Gathering, because I've seen people who play that. I don't want to be in the same room as them. <laughs> What are you trying to say? I've said all I have to <laughs> say on that matter. <laughs> I have not played that game in a very long time. I say, rarely, rarely looking at these uh, Linden light guns. If it weren't for the fact that I'd have to wait till July, <laughs> that and realistically, I'd have to buy two of them. Yeah, oh. I mean, there's there's a couple that use the Wii motes to sort of fudge it a little bit, don't they? Yeah, you can just install the software and use them on a normal PC. However, I know in the past I've tried it with a Wiimote, and it's basically just dragging your cursor around. Yeah. The problem with that is most games won't allow you to use two mics. Yeah. So you can only have one player. And it's not a case of, oh, there's someone in the top right, I'll just point at it and click. You've got to wait for the cursor to lag behind slightly, uh. hover over them, then hit the fire button. So it's it's not to the same. Honest, I'd rather use a controller or a mouse than one of them. Going back to the obviously the CRT tellies, because obviously that's one yeah. thing you'd like as well. Um, one of the biggest things you found there was the TVs themselves aren't expensive. It's just the shipping because of the weight of them. Oh god, well, they're huge. I think like most things in retro gaming now, even the cost of their TVs are going up. Mm, I remember cranky. people would literally pay you to take the CRT telly away. Now. Some people are going, oh, you found a 14-inch CRT with a, like a v- VHS. I'll put it up on eBay and I'll ask uh, 600 quid for it. 
Bloody hell, my dad would have it, made mint. <laughs> no, they might scrap. Actually, they're, not, they're not actually going for that. Well, I actually have one of your dad's CRT tellies. It's still true, you do. <laughs> I just think that would be quite difficult to be playing a light gun game in two player on that little portable. <laughs> yeah, thing. I was going to say, it's like a 14 inch portable. It, yeah. It's not. <laughs> Even in single player things with a struggle. I love that word. It's a portable. <laughs> it's a portable. It takes two two fully grown men and a crane to move it. See, I grew up with all of the technical terms and everything because obviously my dad is a TV engineer. So it, it, I still know them as like portable. Well, the also, yeah, no, that, then, that's then. absolutely what I called them. I I also remember like you had a twenty or twenty one inch TV, probably get larger, and they go, oh yeah. For ease of transportation, we've put plastic handles on the top. <laughs> so you used to hook your hands underneath, lift the thing, like pull your shoulders out of your sockets, and you'd be thinking, is this plastic really strong enough to hold this and stop it from crushing my feet? Probably not. <laughs> That's so fucking heavy. Yeah. I remember moving one from the top floor of a three-story house, and it was one of the big sort of 30-inch ones, and I thought I was going to die by the time I got down the stairs carrying that thing on by, by myself. It, mm. it weighs so much. Oh, they kill me. See, I think the holy grail is to try and get hold of um, a PVM, uh, like a professional broadcast monitor. Oh, right. The quality on these things, the the what used to be called enhanced definition. So it's starting to approach on what HDTV is, but they yeah. are still CRT. Right. I bet they're expensive, though. <sighs> yes. They're not massively expensive. Like, a few hundred quid would get you maybe, like, 20-inch. So, it's again, it's just trying to get them shipped. Unless yeah. you're lucky and someone's, like, remotely close. So, if anyone's listening to this podcast uh, and has a CRT2, and get rid of, <laughs> who's close to us, <laughs> let us know where you are and we might come and get it from you. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you want to pay us to take it away. <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a good home. Although saying that, if, if I got a CRT cell, I myself would probably be homeless as Kerry kicks me out. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Really I've got rid of our uh, 50 inch 4K telly. No, no. Good news. This is sat underneath. Uh, sorry. Bad news. I've got a CRT telly, but good news. I got rid of some stuff to get rid of it. Oh, what'd you get rid of? Our son. <laughs> <laughs> and all your shoes. <laughs> she'd probably be more oh, devastated by the shoes than the sun. That's what I'd say. She'd kill you about the shoes. You can't say that about her. Yeah, it's true. We're not allowed to say about that. We'd actually get in trouble. Well, I get in trouble. Well, so. yeah, it's true. Barry's always in trouble, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but there is there is so many couch co-op games to choose from. It is difficult to to pigeonhole to a few. And you know what's going to happen. We'll end up on Minecraft. <sighs> yeah. Minecraft. Do you know what? In all fairness, it's been a long time since we've played it. That's because it's been a long time since we've been in one person's house and had a couch co op session. Yeah. No, but I remember at one point we were playing Minecraft loads and we were, you know, going through and Barry's making all that massive underground system <laughs> with his yeah, different. And Phil, Phil just so. makes a box. Ooh, so yeah. It is my house. Yeah, but the problem I have with Minecraft is if I play it for too long, I fall asleep. You fall asleep anyway. It's true. You can't talk either. Out the three of us, I'm the only one who hasn't actually fallen asleep while playing a game. The last time you <laughs> came round, Anthony, we were playing Smash Brothers, and it's only that I was watching your character walk into the wall on the other side of the screen and thinking, what's he doing to turn around look at you? And you're just like, <laughs> there, going... <laughs> like, Anthony, you're waking your eyes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And I've done that on the microphone more than once. Oh, yeah, you've done it loads. So they're going, <laughs> Phil, wake up. Phil, <laughs> Phil, Phil. He just goes quiet and we're like, are you there, Phil? Hello? Oh, unfortunately, he doesn't go quiet. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't snore. I stayed up all night and I didn't know myself snore once. <laughs> yeah, there's a, probably a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> I get kicked because that's not. Is that just the excuse she uses though, and she just doesn't roll over and look at you and go, oh, I just want to kick. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we've got we've got lots of choices for 
playing our couch co-op games. What game are you looking forward to the most, though, out of everything we've talked about? Guardian Heroes. We've not talked about that, but yeah, that's... that's we've not yeah. spoke about it, but that is actually what I was thinking about, I was looking yeah. forward to, just because we, no one knows what goes on in that game, but we have fun. I sneakily, depending on who Phil goes, just go Nicole. He knows. I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that, Phil? You die if you he- get healed. Oh, what a shame. Heal everyone in the stage. <laughs> yeah. Or bit, bit crouch in the corner. Sorry? Crouch in the corner. Oh, no, because no, on the Xbox version, you can actually get out of that throw. Uh, sorry, True. out of that True. crouch yeah. can't you? Yeah. I, I have got a um, a copy of the game for the sun. So I might actually try and break. Oh, I've not got a multi tap, though. <sighs> That's the problem with oh, all the consoles. Had a having... Saturn Bomberman? Yeah, but well, see, we'd have to play Saturn Bomberman because Anthony ruined Bomberman. We can play you Bomberman. I didn't ruin it. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. I am going to drop a bomb and swap places with somebody so that you die. Oh, yeah, but you're not much better, Phil. Oh, at well, least you can I'll, escape mine. I'll press this button as I am literally touching you that kills anything I am touching. At least that slows down the character quite a bit. Yeah, but and when you've you, got to catch them and do actually it. Actually, on top of my character and you activate it, there's nothing you can do about it then. Yeah, well, that's not start of the match. I'm on the opposite side here. Oh, by the way, you're now where I am in front of a bomb. Die. Yeah. Anthony's is by far and away the worst. I stopped doing it. I changed characters. Uh, yeah, there was that other character that had the same power up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It just meant I teleported to you. Yeah, I, I just places. think powers, <laughs> powers <laughs> ruined Bomberman. Yeah. I think the only powers you really need is the kick and the one that you pick up. Throw. Uh, sorry, the power glove to throw it over the wall. Yep. We just turn abilities off and there you go. You did and you started whinging? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I didn't. This game's no fun now. I can't just kill you instantly. Yeah, it's more fun. You two are making fun. you sound so bad compared to what I actually That's am. the point of this podcast, isn't it? <laughs> Why am I friends with you? I don't understand that sometimes. I don't know. You just needed to make the numbers up. Fair point. Well, you two only add one together, so think it much further. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, you're only worth a third. <laughs> So, I think it's difficult to say which one I'm looking forward to the most, but it's probably going to be get cracking out some fighting games like Dead or Alive, and mainly Dead or Alive, because all the rest of them will just be me getting beat up. <laughs> I was going to say, was, was there a game beyond Dead or Alive? Or? Well, I was going to say some other ones, but all the rest of them just involves me getting beat up. I don't know. I'd like to play some of the good Capcom fighters. See, I enjoyed Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Mainly because I could synchronize my character's coats. Oh, gosh. You <laughs> <just> like, <laughs> you fashion, flipping. Why can we not go throughout most of anything without you bringing some sort of fashion? I still think it's it's not a patch on Marvel vs. Capcom 2. No, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is definitely the best one of the lot. Yeah. Um, Street Fighter, Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter Alpha. I think they're probably the pinnacle of the series as well. Alpha Third Strike, I want to say, was probably my favourite. Yeah, that doesn't exist. Then which one am I thinking of? I think you're thinking either Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, or Street Fighter Alpha 3. Alpha 3, that's the one I'm thinking about. Alpha 3, yeah, right. No, they, they were... I, I definitely think they were the pinnacle of the series. Yeah, they were brilliant Street Fighters. I don't think I've got Alpha 3, but I've definitely got Alpha 1 and... Well, 0, 1 and 2, which is the Japanese versions. I've got them for the Sig Saturn. And six button jury part of Sega Saturn. Perfect for those games. Yeah. The, the Saturn was probably the best fighting game jury part that's been around. Yes. Well, they, they even sell that same design, but for the Xbox One and Series S and X. Yeah. For fighting games. Because they did the Street Fighter branded one, didn't they? Uh, no, no, not them. Like, they, they were six button jury pads, but they weren't quite the same shape. I think it's Hyperkin do it, and it's a lot closer to the Sega Saturn controller. All right. In terms of like size and dimensions and the King of Fighters on the Saturn, which one? Ninety five. Yeah, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, or was it ninety five, yeah. ninety seven, ninety eight? Something like that. We used to play. Yeah, it was, it was something like that. But yeah. they they were the three. That, they were, that, they were the best ones. Good. Might have to. Have we? Has Anthony? Have we beat Anthony up on that? Don't know. It's very similar to that. Um, Rage of Dragons. 
<laughs> that doesn't answer the question though, Anthony. Have you played? Well, have we played them with you? Which one? Sorry, the King, King of Fighters, Fighters. The Saturn ones. No, don't have to. Be I don't Saturn think so. Ones. Well, there's one thing in the Saturn ones in particular. Uh, I don't think I've even played any of the King uh, King of Fighters. Oh, games. if you've still got it, we definitely watch the movie. Oh. That's like saying you've watched the Dead or Alive movie. <laughs> I mean, why, why would you do that to yourself? I've not seen that. It's good. Mm, yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll have to. We'll have to definitely crack out some King of Fighters then, if he's never played them. Yeah, I'll, so, I'll so, say a bit of Fighters Mega Mix as well. I can beat him up with a car, a palm tree, and an inflatable panda. I'll take the panda. No, no, that's what I'm going to use to beat you up. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the panda. <laughs> So how many consoles are you going to have to be bringing down, Barry, for this? I don't know. It depends what we're going to play. <laughs> it's true. We'll probably have to plan it a little bit more. The thing is, though, I think because it's going to be the first obviously, games night we can have, well, have been able to have in like a year, it's going to have to be a memorable war, definitely. It's just a shame that none of these retro gaming consoles have actually come to fruition yet. They're like, to play all the different consoles on a single console. What, like the Polymega? Yeah. Well, to be honest, I think the price of that pretty much killed it. Well, yeah, it did. It really did. I was actually looking at that actually not too long ago because they also are bringing out their own light gun that apparently will work with a flat screen TV. Right. Okay. Does it actually work like the Sinden light gun or is it more like the, the Wiimote type light guns? I, I don't know. There's not an awful lot of information. Last time I looked, it just said coming soon. I think the problem though with the Polymega is it's probably going to end up being really out of priced. Yeah, so you can actually buy it from their website four hundred and fifty dollars US dollars, but it's not due to ship until the third quarter of this year. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> oh well, there you go. There's that. Looks like we're not getting any for the time of the uh, games night. No, no, we're not going to be able to get that in time for the games night. No. So we've got a pretty decent selection of games, and that we can uh, certainly. Have a look at playing through when we finally can meet up. I say, shame I couldn't get any light guns in time. Yep, we will one day. I'm, I'm sure we will make something work one day. Yeah, but do we pay double the price just for a bit of recoil? Mm. Mm. But now that this dumpster fire of a year and a half is coming towards an end, it is going to be nice to be able to have people around, actually play games face to face. But in all seriousness. It's been quite a rough year for practically everyone, not just in the UK, but around the world. So it is going to be nice to start going out, seeing other people, visiting friends and family that most of us haven't seen in an awful long time. And it is going to be nice actually playing a game face to face, sat on the same couch, laughing as Anthony just like fails. (laughs) <laughs> or cheats depending on the game if he True. wins he's cheating if he loses he's just he's just failing just because you're a sore loser I'm not a sore loser well I don't think I am anyway I've just never lost <laughs> but no I, again in all seriousness it, it will be nice to be able to start inviting you guys around and playing these games in person so I am looking forward to that don't know about you lot Oh, definitely. Oh, I definitely am. Yeah. It would be very nice to do it again. I think we should wrap this up now. i say it's literally been the best part of 45 minutes of us just rambling on. So for everyone who's listened and made it this far, don't worry. Next week, we will be going back to something a bit more structured. And thank you very much for listening. 